Hello, test, test. Mm. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff, uh, and I'm making this video for somebody who's interested in buying this uh, amp that I built uh, a few years ago, about five years ago. So um, I'm just going to play a little bit, and I uh, and, uh, hope it sounds good. <laughs> kind of a clean sound. I can make it dirtier by turning up the first gain. I can, uh, there's a second gain too. So each one controls a different gain stage. This is for the first half of the first tube. This is the second half of the second 12AX7. And then there's an output, which is obviously just an output. So if you really want to crank it, you can turn up the preamp gain and then really. There's a lot of different sounds it can make. Um, I happen to be playing it um, with my Rickenbacker, uh, which has a brighter sound than most guitars, if you're familiar with them. Uh, let me just show you. Let me see. Is this microphone still working? Okay. So let me just show you. I'm going to click this on. Okay. Okay. That should be a little bit louder. So here is the back. Um, it's designed for two 6B6 tubes. Um, and I have these adapters in so I can use it with uh, EL84's um, CBQ5's. Um, really, it, it's not biased. It's not biased uh, particularly hot, um, which allows me to switch between different tubes if I want to. If I were to switch tubes, I probably would rebias it. It's cathode biased, so it's a little bit tricky. But I've never had—I mean, I've never had any problem with any any tubes overheating or anything. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm playing it out of a two by twelve uh, vintage thirty cabinet. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. I gotta get going, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So I tried tried to record this a couple of times, but my camera work is not that great. So one thing I want to point out is that when I wired up the tone stack, I kind of accidentally wired the pots uh, inverted or upside down. So instead of turning them clockwise to turn them up, you actually turn them counterclockwise, which seems a little bit, I mean, it's obviously not traditional and it's counterintuitive, but I just think of them more as like they're attenuators. So this is actually attenuating the bass. This is attenuating the treble. Um, that's just the way I think about it. because. I didn't really want to go back in and redo that part of the amp. Um, so yeah, this is after the first 12AX7 tube. Um, this is the second second 12AX7 tube in between the two halves. And then this is actually uh, a master volume that cancels the phase. So um, that's it. There's a two 12AX7s, um, phase inverter, and then I've got the EL84s in there right now. I couldn't find... I couldn't find um, uh, a matched pair of 6v6s. I'm going to keep an eye out for them and see if I can find them, but um, yeah. Anyway, I hope this helps.